everyone. Welcome to this week's fishing report. Um, we are out here on the Wolf River uh, and one of the most important things to note is it's been a very busy day out on the river. So um, you can even see boats behind us um, and we're passing a launch where there's quite a few boats pulling out and quite a bit of action going on. Um, so with that, um, it's kind of crazy to be the panfish angler among all of the bass anglers um, and see the different kinds of fish that are getting pulled up all from the same holes. One of the things about that is it is getting towards the fall bite. So everything is looking to be eating minnows. So where you are finding your catch, you might find other species as well. Um, and so far that's what's happened to us today. Um, we were targeting panfish, but we have caught bass. We have caught panfish. Josh caught actually a nice perch, um, also a pike. Um, we've been seeing both and kind of surface all over the place. Um, and again, that's because they all are having the same kind of forage in common. So um, we started looking around different backwater spots um, and water temperatures were, they've come down quite a bit since last week. Um, they're down to, you know, 60 degrees or even just under that. Um, and that is in some of the backwater spots. So where are we at in the main channel for water taps? Water taps. 59.2. 59.2, so honestly, fairly similar to what I saw in some of those backwater spots. Um, but the moral of the story here is that either way, the water is cooling down quite a bit. Um, we are getting these really cold nights coming in, um, and that is definitely changing things. So um, we have targeted fish kind of through jig and plastic and um, bobbers with jigs and plastics. Um, but either way, we are noticing that larger profiles are what fish are preferring. Um, we have had some success on a glittery pink color as well as, what have you been using? Chartreuse with silver flake. So ultimately some eye-catching baits um, is really what's going on. Um, and you know, we found them kind of all over the place. So I don't mean to be vague, but you know, casting, Casting out near trees and even away from them is working. So try all of that um, and see what's working for you. We did see some people using some live bait and some bobbers. And I think that they were a little bit shallower than I would have tried. But um, they seem to be pulling in kind of a smaller fish. So with the plastics, we are able to control the bait size a little bit better. Um, and that might be in our favor today. Um, also, a little bit of a special edition fishing report because yesterday we visited Langley County and that was really awesome actually. Um, visited some old fishing holes that we visit kind of once a year with a friend um, and had some pretty great success for the crappies. So um, again, fish were a little bit scattered um, and what were the water temps yesterday? Water temps yesterday were about 60 degrees just like just like here on the river, uh, but in contrast, we were fishing main basin and we were fishing fairly shallow, so 23 feet of water, but our stuff was only set in like five to seven. Uh, weren't marking very many fish, but we decided the easiest way to target them was to drift. And we, once we switched to drifting, um, we started pulling more consistent fish. You'd come over a school that was high up in the water column and we'd double up or triple up and the size was really nice. So yeah, don't forget to fish the upper half of that water column and that deeper and those deeper basins. The other thing that we did notice along with that is some larger marks in the lower part of the water column. And those larger marks were not always biting. Um, but when we did, we were finding some larger pike. Um, so remember, we're talking about upsizing for, you know, panfish, but, you know, even upsizing for your other predator type fish because everybody uh, in this time of the year is on the choose. So um, with that, looking forward to next weekend. Um, and we actually might have a special fishing report from Minnesota because we will not be in Wisconsin next weekend. So I'm um, hoping to see you guys out on the water.